home from your office or what is that one? Yeah, you go home from my office. Oh, it's my it's baby. <laughs> It, is this calibrated now or did you calibrate it? I just calibrated it. Yeah, it's about the 100 horses. Okay, 100 horses? This 150. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful, this 150. Cross six, you can feel it. Yeah. Like so, I think I took to sixty-two hundred, but you can see it's just yeah, you know. Which is that sounds exactly like oh, it should be. Yeah. yeah, like I like it. Honestly, I like it. It's pretty it's, it's solid, right? Yeah. From idle to six, it's a good power bend right there. Yeah. Six thousand RPM power bend is pretty badass. I like it. I like. It. When are we putting turbos on it? <laughs> no, we're doing nitrous. Already. We're doing any. We're doing nitrous. Yeah, nitrous. nitrous. We're doing nitrous. I, I it's a large right. engine, right? It's, the, the engine's ready for boost too. It's got some ring gap. It would handle. You nitrous. want some of my variable? Yeah, yeah variable. We talked about it yesterday. <laughs> we talked about it yesterday. <laughs> Lewis is special. Hey, uh, if you guys want to have some fun, we can. <laughs> this is the one to do it with. Okay, tell me the number, and we, I kind of break my hand before we do it. Saw <laughs> was like, oh, that's a Viper engine. Yeah, it's ready. And there was a 50 gear pool. Okay. So this is cool to actually compare, right? This thing has a shorter ratio than the Mazda, actually. Yep. So that thing on four gear and this thing on fifth gear, the final ratio really close. So if you see that sweep, right? Actually, the the, the drive the the dyno is based on wheel speed. So the setup wheel speed wise, that thing on four is almost the same as this on fifth. Yeah. Right. That's actually cool to see that. Yeah. How can they be that close in a completely different gear? Yep. Right. So I put in four, like oh. This thing four thousand ain't gonna work. Yeah. Like, put in fit. Look at that, twenty five hundred. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Good stuff.
still gain with Tiny, but he gained less this time. Yeah, so I think it's pretty much what she wants to be at. Yeah. And that's pretty good. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm happy with that. Like, this, this thing is pumping like over 600. This thing has right is gonna be a riot. Yeah, yeah. there's gonna be quick shit to drive it. <laughs> it weighs like 2850. <laughs> yeah, but the tires are only about that big. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not heavy. Tires let's yeah, go, yeah. let's, not go. Heavy. let's drive it. Let's drive it. It was, Man, it it was built to do burnouts. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Man, this is gonna be so burnout. badass. <laughs> Six gear burnout. Man, like so badass. Then you go to whatever, like, oh, I wanna play drifting this this afternoon. You yeah, know, like this does it. That's what I wanna do. Like an that. automatic, you don't need to reuse the clutch. You're just like off it's on, perfect. off on, yeah. off on. Burn rubber, don't. Burn rubber, don't. <laughs> like badass. I love it. I love it. And I must tell you, it sounds pretty cool. It does. It does, it does sound pretty cool. Guy. It right. does sound pretty cool. It, it does amaze me how quick it, the exhaust note like changes, uh -huh, and you uh -huh. can tell what's yeah. powered it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yeah, you got you. Yeah, like. It's heavy. Is that the one from your office, or what is that one? Yeah, it's the one from my office. Really quick, guys. We here at Fuel Tech, we are trained professionals. So what you are about to see, I do not recommend for you to try at home, okay? So pay attention, let's take a look at the video. Oh, my baby. <laughs> is this calibrated now or did you calibrate it? I just calibrated it. Yeah, it's about 100 horse this one. Okay, 100 horse? This 150. Uh -huh. Be careful, this 150. Well, there's some, there's a it's 100. You ready, bud? A hundred jets coming up. So it barely, and this we didn't take change. This is this is four. Okay, so four. Okay, four here. This didn't change. We didn't touch the tune, right? But I asked Cam, Cam, about about three thousand RPM, add some fuel. Okay, like a VTEC, just put five percent and add some on the top, right? Because we trying to put more oxygen. It will need more fuel. Let's not rely just on the closed loop. Closed loop is a fail safe. You shouldn't rely like everything else on the closed loop, right? So add some fuel. So what happened was this, as I'm trying to turn it on, right, and trying to get what I feel like is gonna do the power, she went the other way. You see that? That's below the gray number. So I would assume you remove about 4%, something like that, because there was not enough nitrous. As I crack it open, it goes to add 4%, right? And at, look at that, as soon as I close the bottle, whoop, right? Goes all the way really quick downhill, and, and you remove five. Yeah, right? that's negative, but it, the fuel was still added out there. Oh, I bet. In the table, I mean. Oh yeah, that seven percent that we added, right? So, and that's why the correction is going downhill. The correction went negative because it was trying to take off what we added, because the motor don't want it, right? So, in the end, if you have like a nitrous system, it's just more functions to do the same. You will have another EFR. Uh, amount of fuel that you choose to add, right? Amount of timing that you choose to remove, and they all synchronize. Because we didn't do synchronize, right? Felipe was driving, Cameron put some fuel in, the closed loop was trying to fix it, and I had the bottle with my hands. Nothing synchronized, right? So it's cool to do a video here, everyone is laughing about it, but like when you're racing or trying to make power, you try to synchronize, and I think that's what it matters, what is important. That's why we have even Delays for the timing to kick in, delays for the fuel to kick in, like whatever you feel like you need to barely move, right? So they all hit the same time. You don't want the fuel to be before the nitrous or vice versa. You want them to be together. And then you can ramp timing to soften up the hit or to be more aggressive at the hit. So those are the functions that you have on the progressive and pro nitrous functions. But as you guys can see, Nitrous is constant flow. Could, you guys could see it, right? right? It was just like a, a white fog, constant coming off the bottom. It's constant flow. 
what you try to do, you try to get that fuel flow number that we spoke about on the curve and just add to that curve. That curve don't change. The curve is the same because the curve is the engine, right? You just go up. Every single time you add some nitrous, you go up, right? One tricky thing, the motor can swallow more nitrous at lower PM than higher PM. Remember, it's a constant flow from the bottle, not from the engine. The engine has more time each revolution if it's spinning slow. So it's slower, eats up more nitrous than faster. So this is one of the problems about the nitrous car. The more nitrous you run, the less RPM it revs. Because you add power more early than later. The engine becomes flatter. So if you have like a pro nitrous car and you tune it on the engine, they usually peak power at 78, 8,000, 76, high 7,000s to low 8,000. That's pretty much what they all do. As soon as you start spraying, around the 30th or so, 70, peak power starts to go down. 7,200. Yes. And the vast majority, when you spray everything she can handle, 72 to 7,000. You take the nitrous away, peak